All right, look at this beauty. Man, that is gorgeous. Okay, look at this thing. Beautiful. Conrad Johnson, what is, what is the model, Jamie? It's in the back. PV7, I think. PV7. All right, let's see what's wrong with it. Let's test the tubes, all right? We tested all the tubes. All the tubes are okay. My friend Jamie, the owner, tells me that one of these uh, multi-can capacitors had been replaced and the new capacitors were connected to where they go on the circuit board and then the negatives of the new capacitors were connected to ground. But then you see this can is all one metal shell and there is four tongs and each one of these tongs were connected to the circuit board. So those points had to be reconnected to ground. That was all. Points were left, not grounded, believing that uh, they were simply to hold the can mechanically, but they were actually electrically connected as well to ground. So that was corrected with a simple bridge and the unit has been repaired. So I'm going to connect it to my system and see what it sounds like. Notice how this unit splits in half and now you have access to troubleshoot anything in it. This is a type of unit that is built with serviceability in mind. Absolutely beautiful. I like that. So thank you very much, Conrad Johnson. Dropped it gorgeous, well made. Okay, so I connected the Conrad Johnson PV7 preamp to my vintage Macintosh 2105, fully restored. I absolutely love it. And it's got that vintage sound for from the first batch of solid state amplifiers for Macintosh where they try to make them sound like a tube amplifier because it was all they always made was tube amplifiers and they, they made this first batch of solid state amplifiers and I heard them went crazy trying to make these amps sound like a tube amp and they have output transformers very smooth sounding vintage amplifier um, so I have uh, the unit connected it's connected to my Oppo BDP 101 is the source and sounds absolutely fantastic it's got incredible musicality the voices just sound absolutely incredible it is just extremely musical, but I just hooked it up. So I just had a few minutes and in what I heard so far, I absolutely love it. Very nice. So I'm gonna use it, see what happens. And by the way, the Macintosh MC2105, it's connected to these clip shorns. So like I said, it, it's, it sounds incredible. I mean, it sounds really incredible, wow. So I am going to go ahead and listen to it some more. So thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. And I want to wish you health, happiness, and well-being as always.